So I wanted to do an article today on something I read, which is pretty nuts. Um, for those of you that don't know, quantum mechanics and stuff like that, I mean, I'm not like, you know, the reigning expert on it or anything, but quantum mechanics basically is, like, I mean, you have, you know, the scale of things, right? You have, like, uh, you know, here's skin, here's the level that we, you know, perceive reality on, here's everything around us, stuff like that, right? And then you zoom in more and stuff like that down, you know, and you see, like, you know, microscopic things and little cells and stuff like that, and you get farther and farther down, you keep on going farther and farther down, you get to, like, the atom and stuff like that, and etc. But then you go so far down that you get to the quantum scale. And people who are physicists, feel free to correct me in the info here if I get any of this video wrong, but... Uh, you go down, you see that, right? You know, you get to that level. So, when you get to the quantum scale, stuff is so small that for whatever reason, we haven't been able to figure out yet, it defies the laws of physics, of gravity, of, you know, all of that stuff. Like, it just straight out defies it. Electromagnetics, everything. And one thing that was a particularly odd thing about it is, is a while back, uh, there was this experiment done where they did something called spooky action at a distance or spooky entanglement or something along those lines and basically what it allowed you to do was quantum you know particles and stuff like that have basically we can't tell i'm sure you've heard this one before we can't tell what their position or speed is or etc until we actually observe them until we actually you know knock them out of their uh, God, I can't think of the word right now, but it's the state when they're in the quantum state. Let's just say that I can't think of what the word is. God, this video is just all this fucked up shit all over everywhere. Anyways, so once we observe them, we figure out. But until that happens, we don't know what it is. Like, like I can look at, you know, uh, this piece of paper in front of me, and I can see it right there. And if I were to throw it across the room, I can go, oh, this piece of paper is moving, and it is probably, like, three feet from me, something like that. Well, with quantum stuff, you can't tell either one of those things until you actually observe it. And then if I'm remembering right, even once you observe it, you can still only tell one of those things. You can only tell how fast it's going, like movement, or where it's at, and that's it. And you can't tell both. And so... What this spooky action at a distance thing is, is basically being able to somehow link two quantum particles together. So that the minute you observe one and say, you know, that uh, it's moving two miles an hour or some shit or something like that, or you observe it in its, you know, whatever position across the room, etc., the other one automatically displays that information, etc. Like, whatever information was on the first particle is automatically displayed on the second particle. Now, the thing that's notable about this is, is that when they did these experiments, it didn't seem to matter how far away the particles were, as long as they were entangled, the information was instantaneous. And that's what's crazy about it, is that we have the speed of light, right? And the law of physics says that nothing can go past the speed of light. Nothing can break that, no matter what. But, when you do this spooky action in a distance thing, this entanglement, they put one farther across the world than the speed of light could reach instantaneously, you know, thousands and thousands of miles away. And it instantaneously did it. So, as years went on, they tested this more and more rigorously, and they tested it again, I guess, with the most rigorous set of tests possible. And yet again, quantum mechanics showed up, and it instantaneously changed it, completely defying the speed of light. So, that alone says, you know, that when you get down to the quantum level, that there's some crazy shit that can go on. But what's even crazier is, is a lot of theories that people have came up with as to how quantum mechanics works, and one of the most prevailing ones, although we have no actual proof for it yet, but just that it would explain a lot of things about the universe, about quantum mechanics, about physics, all this other stuff, is that we are in a simulation. That whatever we're in right now is not reality, and it's either, like, A, like, some sort of the Matrix-type scenario, or B, like, quantum, you know, or B, like, there's, like, an alien or something like that, you know, that his, we're basically the Sims, we're, like, the Sims, you know, and this is, like, you know, their universe is, like, inherently more complex and crazier and whatever else than ours, and we're, it's, like, a simplified version of their world, or whatever else, and, of course, any of these scenarios lead us to very disturbing, you know, outcomes, like, you know, no free will, or 
that everything we do is just a computer game and whatever, you know, etc. But, obviously there's no actual proof of this yet, but one thing is they're going to do this test sometime here, I forget when, but it's supposed to measure how far down we can, um, how far down we can measure things, basically. Like, the test is supposed to show that if we keep on going down, you know, to the quantum scale, keep on going down and stuff like that, you know, etc., and we keep on going down, keep on trying to just measure anything being there, if we hit a point where something becomes immeasurable except for ones and zeros or something of that sort, and we can't go any further than that, that, I guess, leads more uh, strength to the simulation thing, because technically, in reality, we should be able to measure indefinitely. There shouldn't be a, a point where data no longer can be broken down any farther, is what the scientists are saying. So I guess they're going to do that at some point here, I don't know when. But somebody in the comments of this thread while I was reading this had a really interesting proposition. that The reason we can't measure particles on the quantum state is because they are the source code of the program, the raw programming like, you know, the C++ programming, the... Um, God, I'm just doing horrible in this video. Of all times, I can't think of what the name is of uh, the very, very basics of programming. Even before C++, I can't even think it. And I've said it about a trillion times, and I can't think of that goddamn word. But, you know, stuff like that, that it's just a very assembly. Assembly. That it's, you know, even... Uh, it's assembly language, basically. And we can't measure it because you'd have to be outside of the program to be able to measure it, etc. You know, like, the, the people inside the program can't actually measure it. You know, that's one interesting theory about it and stuff like that, and um, it's just crazy, you know, and even more, uh, I thought of something even interesting for a simulation even more, would be, what if, you know, we are in some big game or whatever else, some sort of big simulation, you know, and it's like these aliens or whatever else that have crafted this, and etc., and the quantum state is as it is because it's unfinished, sort of like how you would patch stuff in on a game, and so, all throughout reality, our reality has been getting updated with patches to make the game better quality. So, for example, like how you had black and white photographs and so forth, you know, back in the day. What if reality really was just black and white, and as we got color added into the game, everybody's memories just got updated to color without their knowledge, and everything just got rewrote to you know, oh, well, everything's always been color, etc. And then all the stuff in the past, like all the, you know, historical documents from, like, Egyptian times, etc., all that stuff is all just stuck in the game, just like the lore would be in a game, etc. And we'd have no way to know. We'd have no fucking way to know. Just like characters in a video game couldn't possibly tell if you have updated the AI to the game or you've updated the graphics. They couldn't tell. And, I mean, there's no fucking way. There's no way to disprove this. That's what's insane. You know? I just... It's just nuts. So, anyways, just wanted to uh, make this video for you guys because quantum stuff is some crazy shit.